evening and welcome to ICV English News. I am Monica Mayangbam presenting you the headlines. Special correspondent of The Telegraph, eminent journalist Kelen Tokchom passes away due to heart attack. And one IPS and three MPS officers placed under suspension in arms missing case of 2nd MR Arms Court. Now the news in detail. Special correspondent of The Telegraph and eminent journalist Kelen Tokjom has passed away due to heart attack early this morning. He was 58 and is survived by his wife, a son and a daughter. He was rushed to Rims Hospital after he complained of severe chest pain late last night and he breathed his last around 3 a.m. Late Kelen Tokjom, a resident of Tera Tongrom Lekai, started working as journalist 30 years ago. Before he joined the Telegraph, Kelen worked as reporter of the Sunday, the Manipur News, the Ningtham Lanpao and also worked as editor of Imphal Free Press, the Manipur Free Press and the Sangai Express. Kelen Tokjom also appeared on the ISTV Gi Ayuksida and ISTV's discussion hour regularly as a panelist. Chief Minister Nong Thombam Biren, Minister T. S. Shyam Kumar, CPI leader Dr. M. Nara, MLAs, former MLAs and many journalists paid last respects to the late senior journalist at his residence. Chief Minister N. Biren stated that Kelen was not just a good journalist but also a good man and a good friend. His untimely demise is a great loss for the state. His style and role of disseminating truth to people through media will always be remembered, the Chief Minister said. It is very unfortunate. Uh, uh, I am really shocked because uh, yesterday itself, after a long gap, I invited him in my office and we discussed about the family matters and, and uh, you know, long time friendship we got because I am also started my career as a journalist. Actually, we have lost a good journalist and a good human beings. I deeply express my deepest condolence and I sharing the sorrow of their families. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you. Later, his lifeless body was brought to the Manipur Press Club complex where a large peep number of people, including the entire journalist community, led by Chief Minister N. Burain, paid homage to the late journalist. MLA Okram Suraj Kumar, Judge of Manipur High Court, and Mr. Justice N. Kutishor, former Chief Minister Radhabinod Koijam, leaders of political parties, civil society organizations, and many eminent persons were present. A two minute silence was observed as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Executive members and new staff of ISTV Network also observed a two-minute silence as a mark of respect at a condolence meeting held at the conference hall of the ISTV Network. The ISTV Network shares the grief of the bereaved family. Late Kelen Tokjom took part in the discussion hour of ISTV News last night, a few hours before he expired. In his last appearance on discussion hour, Kelen questioned whether the present state government would ever be successful in rooting out corruption from the state. <laughs> government <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Late senior journalist Kilian Tokjom was also fond of music. He loved singing and playing flute. He had performed at different musical programs of non-professional singers organized by ISTV Network and musical band Sargam. Old Manipur Working Journalist Union Amju has expressed profound shock and sadness over the untimely demise of Imphal correspondent of the Telegraph, senior journalist Kelen Thokjo. In a condolence message, Secretary of Amju S. Nanda said Kelen had been associated with the Amju for the last many years. He was a member and of the Standing Committee and ex-secretary of Manipur Press Club. His untimely demise has left a vacuum which will never be able to fill and is a great loss to the journalist fraternity. An emergency meeting was held on Sunday, April 1 at the Manipur Press Club and observed two-minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Amju shares the pain and grief of the bereaved family, the condolence masses added. Harm Reduction Network, a conglomeration of Sasso Kripa Society, User Manipur, Care Foundation and MNP Plus has expressed a shock over the sudden and untimely demise of journalist Kelen Tokjom. When he was alive, he was very much concerned with drug problems and tried to disseminate the harm caused by drugs to the people through his reports. His death has caused a great vacuum in the society that couldn't be filled up. Manipur Hill Journalist Union MHJU has also expressed a deep sadness over the untimely demise of senior journalist Kelen Tokjo. He has been an epitome of inspiration and a source of encouragement. His demise has left a vacuum that will never be able to fill and will remain as a great loss to the journalist fraternity. The union shares the pain and grief of the bereaved family, a message of condolence stated. The United People's Front, UPF Manipur, has also condoled the untimely death of Kelen Tokjom. His death would leave a vacuum in journalism of Manipur. Mori Working Journalists Union, Old Jiribam Working Journalists Union and Socialist Students Union of Manipur have also expressed profound shock and sadness over the death of Kelen Tokjom. Second MR, sorry, a day after the state cabinet decided to hand over the arms missing case to the National Investigation Agency, one IPS officer and three MPS officers have been placed under suspension. The officers who have been placed under suspension are SP of Kanjong District Haumei Gonglin, IPS Additional SP Jurebam K. Ajit Kumar Sharma, MPS SDPO Mayang Imphal Haisnam Basulal, MPS and Officer in Charge of 3rd IRB Kangabo TH Bikramjit, MPS. They have been asked not to leave police headquarters without prior permission from the higher authority. It may be recalled that 56 9 mm pistols and 58 magazines were found missing from the second Manipur Rifles Arm Court. 
As observed in other part of the country, National Health Mission Manipur and Indian Medical Association Manipur branch jointly observed Swachata Pakwara 2018 at Imahol Lamphel. Director of State Mission Dr. K. Rajo, Director of Genems Professor T. H. Bhimo and President of Indian Medical Association Manipur branch Brojan Singh Akwajam graced the observance. Speaking on the occasion, Dr. K. Rajo said, the observance will continue till April 15 with various programs. Taking oath to make all possible efforts to keep RIMS campus clean, Director of RIMS Professor A. Shanta launched Cleanliness Fortnight program under Swachata Pakwara program of the Government of India. Medical Superintendent of RIMS, Professor C. H. Arun Kumar said, trained workers will clean the campus beginning today. The fortnight cleanliness drive will begin from today and concluded on April 15. Besides, efforts will be made to make RIMS the most neat and clean hospitals, among others in the state and even outside. Patient parties and all stakeholders will also be mobilized in the efforts for making RIMS hospital clean. ไอ้พวกเราหาไปเลยสิมาเวน่าไอเทมเทรตี้ไอ้พวกกี้สุลับตัวเล็กคอมเพล็กซ์ตัวนี้เองพี่เอ่อสเตนตอนตัวบ้
Town Churches Union Tamenglong observed the Easter Sunday at Jadonang Park. General Secretary of Jeliarong Baptist Churches Council of Northeast India, Dr. N. H. Adui and President of Town Churches Union Tamenglong, Pastor Athana Pamay were the main guests at the observance held at Jadonang Park. Political advisor of Chief Minister N. Birain R. K. Ranjan has said that the BJP-led government has taken up various developmental works in its short tenure so far. He said this while attending the celebration for completion of one year by BJP-led government. The celebration was organized by the Northeastern Building and Other Construction Workers Union, Kundrakum at Yunnam Lekai yesterday. Former President of BJP S.H. Shantikumar, social worker N. Rajendra and many eminent leaders of BJP were the main guests at the celebration. R.K. Ranjan further said, Chief Minister N. Birain has brought the people closer to the government. Unlike the previous government, it is making efforts through new ventures like People's Day, Hill Leaders Day and launching of CMST scheme, etc. to bridge the gap and help those in need. It is indeed a matter of pride that the Chief Minister's initiative like Go to Hill slogan has brought the people of the hills and the valley closer. The BJP-led government has even been able to minimize events of bonds and blockades in the state. Preparations are complete to take up more developmental work soon. <laughs> Haksel ki baramda, light light su tambo ki baramda, su no ma ki baramda, ikhoi hangba ngamma pra, natra ka ngamdri pra hai bado, si minister ki banglo da salaga apha pur yao dana ati tu zung yao dana ikhoi da hai bunga mi basa, masi ma ki ikhoi ki kudam di kari no, hai raga dekhoi na praja singda, good governance, transparency lai na thabak tau gani, hai bado ikhoi madhu ma yam da utche wana. On the other hand, social activist N. Rajendra said as much as 90% of the residents in Kundrakpam Assembly constituency are poor and helpless due to the carelessness of some leaders in the constituency. Efforts are being made to ease the difficulty of the people of Kundrakpam constituency through various government schemes. <laughs> ไล่ไปเอาไปใส่ไล่ไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไปไป
Reports had stated that ISRO's GS-86A satellite was facing some issues in communication after the second orbit raising exercise on Friday. ISRO confirmed that the first orbit raising operation of a GS-86A satellite was successfully carried out. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any official update ever since the first orbit raising operation. Reports also stated that the ISRO chairman K. Sivan and other scientists involved are holding meetings to fix the issue. The Delhi police have arrested three persons in connection with the CBSE Class 12 Economics exam paper leak. Two teachers and a coaching center owner who were detained by the police have been arrested. The police have stated that the two teachers clicked photos of the question paper at 9.15 a.m. and passed it to coaching center owner who passed it to students. This comes a day after Jharkhand police arrested 12 people including students and coordinators of a coaching institute. From the state in connection with the case of the alleged leak of CBSE class 10 mathematic paper. The investigation has revealed that the question paper was leaked in two forms, a printed copy which was sent via WhatsApp as well as a handwritten paper which was circulated. The paper leak has caused the CBSE and the government to announce a re-examination of the class 12 economics paper. Now the headlines once again. Special correspondent of The Telegraph, eminent journalist Kellen Tokchom passes away due to heart attack. And one IPS and three MPS officers placed under suspension in arms missing case of 2nd MR Arms Court. That's all for the moment and thank you for watching STV English News.